In Bedford, England, a cleaner and quieter alternative to modern airplanes is taking shape. The creators of the Semans airships soon expected to take the skies to find a means of aerial transportation. Called Airlander, this hybrid airship combines several aeronautical technologies, including some used by planes and helicopters to maximize its efficiency. The hull has got 38,000 cubic meters of space inside it, which is mainly filled with helium, lighter than air. That gives it lift, and about 60% of its lift comes from that. Up to 40% comes from having a wing shape, having an aerodynamic shape, and that gives it extra efficiency and means it's very controllable. This test flight, made by a prototype version of Airlander, demonstrated good flight capability. At 150 kilometers per hour, it doesn't move very fast, but it can remain safely buoyant for weeks and doesn't need airports to take off and land. So we can do deliveries into places that have got uh, runways, uh, that perhaps have got no runways, or perhaps there's been damage in a natural disaster or something like that. So a bit like a helicopter, but much, much bigger and more efficient. We use helium, not hydrogen. Helium is an inert gas. It doesn't explode, it doesn't set on fire, it won't support a flame. Um, we've also got lots of different ways of lifting this aircraft. So some of our lift comes from buoyancy, some of it comes from aerodynamics, some of it comes from the vectored thrust of the engines. So we've got lots of redundancy and lots of safety in the way that we operate the vehicle. The airliner will be capable of transporting up to 10 tons of load. Its next version will have a capacity five times bigger, on par with cargo planes, but with much better fuel efficiency. So if we were using a 21-day mission, which is what the old vehicle could do, um, we would use as much fuel as a fighter jet would use in one hour. And we'd stay up for 21 days non-stop. So it's a significant difference in the amount of fuel used, for sure. Engineers expect hybrid airships to become a popular way of transporting cargo when high speeds aren't required. They can be the best choice for long-term observation missions, or can even serve as luxury hotels in the sky with minimal atmospheric pollution. We're already a quarter to a third of the emissions of other aircrafts. But in the future, we should be going all electric and having solar panels on the surface of the aircraft, which will make us a zero carbon aircraft. And that will truly revolutionize the emissions problems that aviation are causing at the moment. Climate change is a tough challenge. But new engineering alternatives and scientific solutions can lead the way to a brighter and greener future.